Hey everybody, and in this video we're going to be doing another deck profile for a D format or overdress format um, deck profile for Vanguard. So in this video we will be covering the Brant Gate Nation, and in this one specifically we'll be doing Battle Princesses. <clears throat> now, out of all the trial decks, I think it's fair to say the one that probably shocked people with how good it was right out of the box was probably Battle Princesses. You had a grade 3 boss unit that not only gained 10,000 extra power, um, she gained triple drive if a condition was met, and she has a card that sits on the field and sucks away your opponent's field, um, forcing them to deplete more resources just to get them back, and it's a very heavily control style. So um, <clears throat> obviously, those of you who know me saw this and went, well, we know we're going to be seeing this. This is just basically another spin on Link Joker, so we know that <laughs> um, uh, Shinaki was going to take a shot at it, and you're right, I am. So anyway, guys, let's just jump straight into this deck profile. Lots of fun stuff to talk about. So I will say I am real. I was, I was one that was really surprised with how good this deck was straight out of the box. Um, it's uh, pretty insane, actually. So, for the starter, we're playing uh, Aura Battle Princess Ruby Red. So, uh, if you go second, draw a card. For the Grade 1, we play th uh, Aura Battle Princess uh, Kyanite Blue. Uh, Kyanite Blue is whenever this unit is placed on the Vanguard Circle, you can search your deck for up to one Prison card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. And then on Rear Guard, if you have one or more cards... One of your, one or more of your opponent side rant here. They really need to find a better way to word this, <clears throat> because listen to the, this wording. When this unit is placed on the rear guard, if one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison, uh, counter blast one and soul blast one and draw a card. Um, I hate how that is. If they if if you if you have some of your opponent's cards imprisoned in your prison, I just hate that. Um, so. You know, I hope they find a better way to word that eventually. Um, for the grade two is Aura Battle Princess Rhea Sat Pink. So uh, Rhea Sat uh, is when uh, when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, your opponent will choose a card from their hand and place it in your prison. And then on Rear Guard, if uh, one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned, then um, she gains plus 2,000 power. So that's there. And then for the boss monster, we play is Aura Battle Princess Seraph Snow. So, Seraph Snow, um, continuous skill. Um, during your turn, if one or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned, then she gains 10,000 power, and if three or more are imprisoned, she gets uh, triple drive. So, that's really good. And then once a turn, um, whether she's on Vanguard or Rear Guard, which I find hilarious, considering that she could become a Rear Guard at some point that's just broke, um, counterblast one and choose two of your opponent's rear guards and put them in your prison. So <clears throat> she's really, really good for a counterblast of one. You can suck away two of your opponent's rear guards. It's insane. For your triggers, first we play one copy of Star Star Dragon Deity of Infinite Tude Eldo Breath for our over trigger. Um, so, um, when he's checked, you get to heal a damage, draw a card, give one unit plus 100 million power, and then his additional effect is, um, double the power and critical of all of your front row units until the end of turn. So, um, your front row is going to get big and nasty, so he is really, really good if you check him on a turn when you're trying to go for the win. Next we play... Eight crits, three draw triggers, and four heal triggers. So, nothing really, you know, special to talk about here or anything like that. So, eight crit, three draw, four heal, and an over trigger. Grade ones. Obviously, first we need to talk about. Um, Galaxy Central Prison um, Gal Galactolus. So, <clears throat> this um, is the prison card that you will be searching out when you ride your Grade 1. Um, so, 
this is a set order, so it's played in your order zone, and that's where it'll stay. Um, in order to activate this card, you must rest one of your units, so that's not that bad. So if you go first, um, if you go first, you can ride her, search this, and then immediately rest your vanguard and play this, um, since obviously you can't attack. And then when this unit is put into the order zone, soul charge, <coughs> soul charge three. So you get um, a little soul built up there, which is nice. Um, while it's in the order zone, whenever your opponent could normal call rear guards, they may soul blast one to retrieve one of their rear guards that are in your prison, or they can counter blast one to retrieve two of them. So soul blast they can get one, uh, counter blast they can get two. Um, so this card it forces your opponent to deplete their resources if they want rear guards back. Um, which can stop them from activating their other card's skills. It could force them to... Uh, it, it literally just puts them in a bind. Uh, this card is really, really insane. And since we have a guaranteed search for it, it's always going to be in effect. So it's really good. Next we play four copies of uh, Violate Dragon. So Violate Dragon is just the Brant Gate uh, Perfect Guard from Set 1, where if you have less than two cards in your hand, you do not have to pay its discard cost. Next, we play three copies of Kynite Blue from the Ride deck. Um, so we do play four copies of her in total. Um, to use her for her Rear Guard skill to um, just draw an additional card um, if we need it. So that is there. Next, we play three copies of Hyperspeed Robo Shovel Stud. So, Shovel Stud, he, um, act ability, once per turn, you can Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1 to choose one of your opponent's rear guards and put it in your prison. Then if you have three or more cards, um, three or more of your opponent's cards in your prison, you can draw a card. And he's just once per turn, so you can do that every single turn. And then we play three copies of Detonation Mutant, uh, Bubble Mine or Mecha Godzilla, as I hear some people calling him. Um, uh, Rearguard skill, at the end of the battle that he boosted, if you have an order card in your order zone, you can put this unit into your soul and counter charge one. So you can use him to get um, some soul and to counter charge a little back. Um, and he'll, he'll always be in effect because you're always going to have your order card. Um, so. Oh, wait. No. Not those. That is our grade ones. I messed up my design. Next for grade twos, we only play eight. We do we only play one copy of this in our ride deck, but we do play four copies of the new grade two that we got from set one. That is easily one of the best cards from set one, which is four copies of Aura Battle Princess Agra Rogue. Um, she has a continuous ability on the rear guard or the guardian circle. Um, if two or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned, um, this unit gets plus 5,000 power and plus 10,000 shield continuously. So um, that means even on your opponent's turn, she'll be a 15k <clears throat> rear guard that they have to swing over or if you intercept with her and you have at least two cards um, in your prison she can intercept for 15 so she's really good offensively and defensively um, and then her other skill is when this unit is placed on rear guard you can soul blast one to choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the front row and place it in your prison so then for the other grade two um, it's four copies of um, uh, grapple external um, pretty basic card. If you have even just just one card um, of your opponent's um, in your prison, um, he gains plus 5,000 power continuously. Um, so you're, he also can be a 15k rear guard on your opponent's turn, which is absolutely insane. Um, so, um, you know, if they're 15 and you persona ride, they become 25k um, swingers, which is... Um, <laughs> insane. So that's pretty much it for our grade twos. Next for grade threes, we obviously play uh, the additional three copies of Seraph Snow um, to uh, do for the Persona ride, and then we play four copies of Grana Road um, Fair, Tigar, Fair Tigar. So um, his ability is once per turn, you can Soul Blast one to give him uh, 
plus 2,000 power, and then you can select one of your opponent's front row rear guards and place it in your prison. So, <clears throat> um, there's, uh, you know, just another card that you can use to put more cards in your opponent's prison. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where um, you're get, you, you're, you can have, you know, six or seven in there easy. Um, so, I, uh, this, this deck is absolutely insane. Um, it is, you know, there's no, there's nothing else to say. It's insane. So, anyway, guys, um, that is Battle Princesses for Brantgate. Um, very heavily controlled deck. It has, um, great offense and great defense. It's, um, and it has draw power. I mean, it, it's a, and, so, and, and, um, resource replenishment. It's just a very good deck overall. Um, you know, obviously the booster, the boost from set one where, um, we got, um, you know, uh, rogue, um, we got, uh, you know, grapple external, we got the perfect guard. And then obviously the two new grade ones, um, make the deck a whole lot more, um, maybe makes it more competitive, but straight out of the box, this deck is very, very good. Um, and this deck shows great promise for the meta going forward. Um, this will probably definitely be um, in um, competitive play. Um, easy. So anyway, guys, um, I, look, um, I look forward to seeing what they do with this in the future. It's definitely going to be interesting, um, especially considering they made Seraph Snow's ability activate on the rear guard as well. So that really intrigues me. So I'll be waiting to see what comes of that. But anyway, guys, so that is Battle Princesses. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you, uh, uh, you, get, uh, you liked uh, watching it. Uh, if you have any thoughts on the deck, please feel free to put them down below. Um, if um, you have any suggestions for the deck, I'd love to hear them. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video. Remember to join our Telegram group, um, Shinaki's Friends, if you want to come hang out and chat with us. Um, would love to hear from you guys. So anyway, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.